Voilà, on est tous dessus. Voilà, voilà on fait <rire> But before any of that, roll intro. Morning, kids. Have you been, been have you been behaving? Come on, get out. Got a lot on today. What I'm pecking to do. I've had some worms. Oh, I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Good morning. From the southwest of France. That's your aunt. De Patamont says. Um, a bit bright. No, not as warm as it was over the weekend, I can tell you. But, uh, yeah. Got, got a little bit on today. A little bit on. But before I tell you about that, huge apologies. A massive faux pas, huge, like the biggest faux pas you could ever do, really. Is uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Jean Bernard, Barnard, Jean Barnard, from Limousin Life. Link in the description. She has a channel um, with her husband Gary, who I give a shout out to yesterday, but I forgot to mention Jean. Swapping arms. That caused a bit of a, a bit of a domestic, apparently. So, uh, in an attempt to to quash overseas tensions, big apologies to Jean and a hi. It's a hi from me. So Sean's coming in a minute. Um, Going to use his big van and take us to La Rochefoucauld to go and pick up a barbecue. I'm gone, Robbie. Didn't you say yesterday that it was sold out? Well, let me show you yesterday's video that I finished off filming yesterday. Let me show you that. Went off plan. <laughs> Added another bit. Oh, don't know whether you can see the fire, fire jets over there. You see him? Sorry if I'm just pointing up in the air. Sorry. Um, went off plan on account for the fact that I was running out of fuel. Uh, plus I thought it looked alright anyway. It's still early stages, it needs to grow. Anyway. Jack and Bex 
from growing in France. Link in the description. Um, they wanted me to say hello to the cows, so let's do that before they run off. Hello, our moo neighbours. Oh, yeah, they've, they've all buggered off. Right. Hello. Come on, Savannah. Anyway. I'll show you the garden from this point of view. It's a bit windy. Ordinarily, I'll take the drone up. One of the neighbours got a bit of the ump the other day. Got the ump. Which means uh, annoyed. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. C'est la vie. Right, so Sean's turned up. I'm not sure whether you can hear me. Sean's turned up. We're off to La Roche for Coe. Right, where's your fancy sunglasses on? He's not, he's not got one, anyway. Cue, slow mo. Right, we're here. It's about 400 kilos worth of uh, concrete, so this will be fun. Right, so that was a mare. I've no idea how we're going to get it off the other side. Uh, I have to call them, call them a neighbour. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy, like this. Yeah. That's on upside down. <laughs> of course it is.
Right, so we managed to get the uh, the roof, I suppose it's called, to the to the barbecue on with the help of Kathy Martin, our neighbours around the corner. So, thank you to them. Um, I'm taking Evangeline, who's somewhere in the back. I don't know whether you can see it. There she is. Um, to Conflon, need to get some uh, strong adhesive to uh, to make sure that it doesn't blow over like the greenhouse. Anyway. So it's definitely out. Q, slow mo. Oliver. Right, so I've been to come back. I was going to take it, but the battery died. Anyway, I've come back and Lisa's been doing something. I'll show you. Been painted. Yeah, looks good. So far, right. I'm going to need to sort them out. Who'd have thought I'd have been painting so soon after doing the office at Robbie's room? Not me. Pas moi. Anyway, from a distance it looks all right. <laughs> it's going to need a second coat. And probably another purchase of a, another tin uh, of the paint. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to go and edit this video and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. day. Good morning. Only just. Um, fun French fact. Not done one of these for a while. Straight into it. Barbecue in French is barbecue. Now, you have to pronounce it right. 
So I needed to get some uh, stronger adhesive for the for the barbecue. Uh, went to Batty Drive in Confalon. Um, spoke to a, a worker there who was there for my uh, for my um, assistance, and uh, I said to him. Um, Excuse me, Monsieur. Je ne parle qu'un petit peu français. Um, J'ai acheté un barbecue en béton, which is said uh, I bought a concrete barbecue. Um, his reply was, "Quoi? What? Uh, it was my pronunciation of the word barbecue. Yeah. So um, I had to um, say the sentence again uh, and." Uh, over exaggerate my French accent even more than what I already do which is already at an a low a low standard so uh, instead of barbecue I have to barbecue and he went ah je comprends <laughs> there you go anyway I need to go and post some letters um, to apply for the French to get into the French social security system which I should have done, should have done ages ago uh, got an office now no excuse so I'm gonna go and do that and then I'm gonna go and paint that a second coat let's do that Right, that's painted. Probably need to paint that every year, won't I? Won't I? Anyway, so exciting news. Well, one, we're having a barbecue Saturday. So we've invited uh, a few people, neighbours. Uh, French neighbours are coming. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, we just had a message from A Place in the Sun, a TV show, uh, who want to uh, start talks with us about doing a follow-up show. Now, for those of you not from the UK that are not, that are not aware of the show, Place in the Sun is a reality TV show uh, back in the UK um, which finds uh, people that live in England um, housed in the sun all over the world and, uh, and we chose France. We auditioned for it uh, at, the, at the exhibition in uh, September 2022 uh, and then we got on the show last year. It's not been aired yet so it's probably a bit premature doing a follow-up show plus we've got loads more work to do to the house. Anyway. Don't know what I'm doing next. Whatever that is, I'll do that. Actually, 10 seconds later. Who wants a veggie patch update? I know I do. You come back. Right. Um, so these haven't gone out yet because they need the warmth, really. But my courgettes. Yeah. Um, cucumber plants. Melons are free. And this did say at first it was cannabis, but it isn't. <laughs> what, when you did the app? Yeah, it now <laughs> says it's cucumber I think it's because the leaves curled under slightly and not that I know what a cannabis leaf looks like but no. uh, and pepper 
Of course, you know what a cannabis leaf looks, looks like. She's from Hastings. Sprouts. Sprouts that are going crazy. Yeah. Um, thinking about putting them out soon. Um, runner beans. Yeah. Up. My tomatoes are up. Your cheeky tomatoes. Because it says cheeky on there. I think it's cherry. My new present. Who, who got you that? My husband. What is it? Beautiful uh, wisteria tree. I think it's a, a Chinese one. It says glycine de chine. Um, but yeah, it's my purple wisteria which we're going to have growing. Oh, amazing. Carnations? So my carnations are looking like they're about to flower. Yeah. Um, sweet peas are growing. Are these are out, ready to go. And... What are these? Parsnips. Oh, nice. I don't like parsnips. I <laughs> do you really? <laughs> Carrots are going mental. Let's have a look. You think that's bad enough? Look under here. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's porridge. I didn't know you could grow porridge. <laughs> but yeah, they all need thinning out. Got a big lettuce there. That's growing. Wow. That was a seed a couple of days ago. And these are going nuts too, aren't they? That's mange too. Eat all. Mange too. Lettuce. Some more lettuce. And... Rocket. Rocket. And I tasted some before, and you can actually taste the rocket. These are the spuds. These are coming on well, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have seen that the other potatoes are growing. Yeah. So you'll have one Over there, yeah. line, and then a second line. You want some meadow update? I do. Because it's so wet down there, probably going to grow willow and uh, plant a load of wildflowers. Made that look really, really pretty. Anyway, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up, cause bugger all. Don't forget to subscribe and a comment. You know, I like a comment. Comments keep coming now, over days and days, which is amazing, because it keeps me busy on the days that I don't post. Anyway, there's one last thing left to say. It's not from me. It's not from him, who's just about to burst a brand new ball. It's not from the Kellogg's cornflakes cockerel. <laughs> it's not from me either. Ladies.